Hey guys, long time no video. Today I'm going to show you how to make my absolute favorite pottage of all time. And that is a sweet potato pottage with goat meat and chickpeas. You guys, ah, every time I post this, they're like, Nancy, Nancy, show us the recipe. Well, this is me filming. But if you want the full list of ingredients, you can find it in my book. You guys, when you make this, everybody will love it. And I'm telling you with experience because the reviews from this recipe have been mad for some reason i always have kale i don't know how come this thing keeps growing but i always have kale any greens you have available will work for this recipe get your ingredients together you want to start with your goat meat make sure you wash it properly and then add your seasoning i'm using some all-purpose seasoning some pepper soup spice salt pepper some onions and my ginger garlic paste if you know me you know that there's no cooking without ginger garlic paste that's like my favorite spice ever in the meantime, while that goat meat is steaming, you could have a break. I had some popsicles, peeled my potatoes, just basically prepped the other ingredients. Wash your potatoes and 20 minutes later, your goat meat should be steaming. So you go ahead and get your free officials. Um, I added a little bit more water and cooked it for an extra 10 minutes before pouring it out into a bowl. Now, after now, you could either shallow fry this with some palm oil or you could just bake it for some color. It makes the texture better in the potted when it's you know sort of roasted or fried all right so now prep your onions slice your cameroon pepper this will be used much later because of the beautiful flavor that it gives to your meal prep your sweet potatoes i'm just chopping them into like bite-sized pieces your bell peppers chop that all nicely these are optional but they actually add beautiful textures to the meal i'm grating the carrots because my children prefer their carrots grated now let's start with the pottage Heat up your palm oil out, your onions, your iru, crayfish. See how we're building flavors here? And then this beautiful, very red tomato pep mix. In my book, I teach you how to make the best one ever in your life. <laughs> Once you try making your pepper mix this way, you will never make it any other way. Now add the broth, check the seasoning, add more seasoning, and then cover the cook. Once it boils, add your sweet potatoes, your, your uh, already cooked chickpeas, dried fish i used catfish you could add your goat meat that has been roasted and that beautiful cameroon pepper we talked about now toss everything and then add some water just enough to cook the sweet potatoes check for seasoning after you added your water make sure it tastes just the way you want it to taste when it's cooked and then leave it to cook for about 20 minutes in the meantime prep your remaining veggies oh my god you guys once it cooks and the potatoes are soft add your carrot and the sweet corn and then cover that for about two minutes open add your bell peppers and your kale and that's it guys that's it very easy but very delicious all these textures inside when you take a bite you sort of taste the chickpeas it tastes ah god it is amazing and i really hope that you make it for your children this is nutritious. It has everything, really. There's nothing you want to think about that doesn't have. It is amazing. Make sure you try it. Let me know how it goes. God bless you all. Mwah!